Welcome to the Israeli theater training mission videos. This is video number two in the series and we're still discussing the first training mission which is dropping jet arms off a barak jet. In the previous video we've dealt with a scenario on which, in which we drop four bombs onto two, four different targets using uh, a level uh, delivery. In this video, we will drop four target, four bombs onto two targets using a loft delivery. Now, this is the exact same mission, same starting point. This is the F same F-16C Barak, same GBU-38 bombs, and we're still on the same autopilot. So let's let the autopilot go, let it fly. Sorry about that, stall config. And uh, first thing first. Power on the weapons, three minutes weapon align, and pretty much identical to before, we'll go into the DD page and we'll program this time only two targets. Let's go with 15 and 18. Feel free to select whichever two targets that uh, you feel more comfortable with. It doesn't really matter. Ooh, I all tapped. Look, a mouse. Yes. 18. Why you no say 18? Good. 18. Now, unlike the previous flight, we want to drop two bombs onto each target. In order to accomplish this, we need to set this field here to 2. Remember? That's the uh, bombs per target limit thingy. However, we also uh, want the uh, to the, the FCC to give us the pull-up cue correctly, so we'll need to adjust the uh, impact angle, which will actually adjust the angle in the calculation. Let's put 30. That sounds like a good number to me. Hit enter. Uh, heading we're not touching. Velocity in up, and we want two bombs for this target. Next stop, target 18, exact same treatment, 30 degrees, nose up, no heading change, velocity doesn't matter, two bombs. Now, as I mentioned before, the number of bombs dropped is dependent on two factors. The first is the setting here, where we say to the FCC, look, I want to drop two bombs onto target 15. The other factor is the ripple setting, so we need to set that to be the num maximum number of bombs we want to drop. Because we say, hey, drop two bombs. We need to say, hey, listen, I want you to drop, to allow two bombs to be dropped. So we set ripple to two. Uh, it is a good practice to set the ripple to the maximum number of bombs. Right now we are dropping two bombs onto the one target and two bombs onto the second target. We can have one, one, two, one, two, one, and every combination we want from those four bombs. So it's a good practice to set the maximum number of bombs any target will get into the ripple. Because if the, uh, the, the, the target line is lower, the computer will say, hey, you only asked for one bomb and we'll stop dropping. On the other hand, if I set two but the ripple is one, the FCC will say, okay, I only know how to drop one, forget me. And you will leave it at that. So it's important to set the number correctly. And again, the target will be cycled on pickle release. So we need to make sure we have the first target selected. So let's hit return. And we have the correct target. Now, uh, let's descend and talk about the the target the the, the characteristic of uh, this specific. Sorry, need to calibrate my track IR. Yes, go. Anyway, let's discuss a bit. I'll turn on the MFD so you can see them as well. Uh, let's talk a bit Out about please. the uh, the advantages of this specific delivery method. Using the pop-up delivery allows us to have very short exposure time. 
we you'll see it we're gonna drop four bombs onto two targets in less than 30 seconds our maximum altitude uh, to pull which up, we will pull up, pull up, climb pull up, will be up, roughly 4,500 feet not much 30 seconds from pull up to the deck going the other way uh, this is a very quick uh, uh, delivery method very suitable for uh, high threatened targets where you need to go in and be uh, close and personal with what whatever you're dropping onto but you want to go home safely to your life so uh, I'm gonna aim for 480 knots it's pretty hard to fly low talk and maintain speed so it will vary however once I turn into the target uh, for the final leg I will uh, go full military and start accelerating usually the target velocity I'm aiming for is 540 knots if it will give me more I will take it uh, in this uh, special uh, in this Altitude. specific scenario Altitude. we have four or five hundred pound bombs in uh, in a central tank in a belly tank so we're pretty low drag and light uh, in a three uh, bag scenario you will have trouble <laughs> going up to 540 knots uh, okay we're clear of the factories let's start swing it around uh, so as I said this is a very quick very uh, in your face uh, way of delivering bombs and uh, you have the flexibility you can choose to use the four bombs onto uh, sorry as you can see I'm sorry I didn't mention it the the speed is decoupled I can go to the FCR and move the, 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 the whatever I want around yet it doesn't affect where the bombs are going this is the difference from the uh, uh, the American uh, mode. This is why I'm allowing myself to fly with the AGSD. I don't need to make sure my SPI is in position. I just know the bombs are going to go there. So I'm very liberal Attitude. on what Attitude. I'm doing with my radar or where my waypoints are. As you can see, the if you remember, I programmed waypoint 15, but I'm flying to waypoint 5. Here it is, the little diamond on the side. Wait a minute, need to move the trick IR a bit. Yes, sorry about that. Whoa, what's going on? Not a good time for this. Yes, a minute to pull up. It is a good time for it. Better than three seconds altitude. from it. 60 feet, not very good altitude for trick IR to be goofing around. Yes. Anyway, uh, once we get closer, we'll hit the afterburner. I want to be as close Altitude. as I can Altitude. to 540. I can go above it. Uh, however, I will not recommend going over 600 knots. Uh, it may damage uh, fuel tanks if you have any. And uh, maybe damage to the fuses. Uh, another thing to remember is to ease into the volley. Okay, here we go. I'm hitting after burning. Oh, wow, one second. Shaft flare. flare, I'm easing in. Pickle pressed. Here we go. Bombs, one, two, release. EDU Bombs, released. one, two. And EDU we're starting released. to head out. I was a bit fast. Need to maintain Caution. AGs Caution. because I have a belly tank. Easy, easy on the way out. The caution was config change from cat 1 to cat 3. We'll set it up. We're clear. Yeah, something is still yelling at me. Yeah, the belly tank. Because it's still full, because it's a training mission, we kind of foobarred that one. Uh, however, in the real life scenario, it will be empty. This is why you need to maintain AGs. It gets even trickier if you have uh, ring tanks on this. Uh, let's go track our bombs for a second and see how they're going as I said we have uh, I can see a bomb down there somewhere we have two bombs here it goes one and two should impact the same target where is it here it is and number three is below us as you can see going for the a4 on the left 
and it's about to impact and here it goes and this is bomb number four going for the same target pew pew yes anyway so as I said this is a very flexible way of delivering the targets you can go in very fast under the uh, nap of the earth under the radar drop your bombs get the hell out uh, you can drop two bombs onto two targets you can drop two bombs onto one target you can drop four bombs onto one target however I will not recommend dropping more than two targets with the black why you ask because of the pickle cycle we need to lift the finger off the pickle in order to cycle target and then punch it again that means that for every pickle you lose about two seconds one second for the press till the bombs release the first one doesn't count because it's on the way up and then we'll release the pickle to cycle but this is a human response time it takes time for you to understand the bombs are left lift the fingers realize it cycled and then press it again it's about a second and then another second of pickle time that's three 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 point something second let's call it four four seconds from the second uh, the first bomb releases uh, to the point where you can say okay bombs are off I can get out of here so it's four seconds up and four seconds down if you add target number three and target number four you actually add about two seconds for each target so it will go up to eight maybe uh, even towards the 10 second mark now as you can as you saw I pulled up a bit too fast there I was 600 knots it was a bit fast too fast I should have gone about 540 and not much more because then it, the inertia carries you very very quickly and these these four seconds is a lot of altitude I mean a lot I barely got under the uh, 4000 mark for the 4500 mark if I would have climbed this rate for another six seconds I would probably find myself in 10,000 feet if not more and then I need to descend this whole thing back it's 12 seconds going up and down if you remember I we doing it for less than 30 so adding another 12 seconds on those 30 makes you very very vulnerable furthermore it gets you closer to the target so man pads triple a and all the other nasty stuff sitting there just waiting for an f-16 to pop in to say hello so limit yourself to two targets as you gain more and more confidence in the delivery you will see that two targets is the let's call it reasonable number it's not that it's not possible but you will see why i'm i'm recommending to avoid it now um, however feel free to experiment in addition to that i'll leave you with uh, some homework so uh, so to call it uh, in the pdf uh, you also have it as a challenge uh, try and drop those four same four bombs on two three targets you can choose which order of targets and which target will get uh, what number of bombs and uh, you know pick it as you wish but make it uh, try and 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 figure out uh, how to how you like to do it as I said this is for uh, level delivery because three pickles and it's pretty straightforward you should be able to do it if you follow those two missions the four targets four bombs and the uh, four bombs two targets you'll get the hang of it it will be easy for you to do the adjustments you will just set it up in the DED page set the ripple correctly and get the feel for it um, that's it for uh, the Barak Jadam uh, training mission our next video will be the Sufa dropping Jadams it's slightly different uh, it allows some more options but we'll cover it in the next video so 
have fun and uh, happy flying.